If you're ready to harness the power of your communications data, blast off with Nihilus today. Hello and welcome to Coding with Nihilus, a live stream where we talk about programming, APIs, and more. This is episode 94. My name is Black, Senior Developer Advocate. And my name is Ram, Developer Advocate at Nihilus. How are you today, Ram? I am good. I'm good. I'm just wrapping up some time at the DevOps conference in St. Louis. Nice. I'm looking forward to coming back and uh, I'm excited to join you on this live stream. Uh, definitely want to get back to doing a live stream or a blog post soon. Yeah, cool. That's awesome. So today it's a really nice episode, I think, because usually we do like how to connect to your Gmail, to your Outlook, but we have never actually talked about iCloud. So today's topic is going to be connect to your iCloud account, which is nice because usually we a lot of people have uh, Apple phones and everything. So it's nice to show that we can actually connect to iCloud. But before that, remember to go into nylas.depost.com to sign up for our hackathon. So our hackathon is still going. Uh, remember, you can create a free Nylas account and you can connect up to 10 accounts. Uh, you need to use AI with Nylas to create something that is nice to be help people communicate uh, using calendar and emails. Uh, the deadline is October 2nd, 2023 at 6 p.m. EDT. So you still have some time. So just go sign up and start hacking. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us the thumbs up, click on the little bell to get notified, subscribe to the channel, and more important, like our videos, because the more videos we like, the more we can produce these kind of live streams. So I want to share my screen. And can you help me around making it bigger, please? Or OK, thank you so much. So yeah, no so problem. how to connect to your iCloud account. OK, so usually what we're going to do is we're going to go into our dashboard, and we're going to enter our email address which is usually the one that we use to like purchase things on the App Store. We're going to try that. Uh, by default, it's going to go to Exchange. Probably we're not going to realize that. I'm just going to put our email. Uh, and obviously, it's going to give us an error. First, because we're not using actual Exchange, we're using iCloud. And also, because if we read here, we are connected to iCloud Yahoo or American line. I didn't knew that this still exists. Uh, so we need a two-factor authentication enabled, and we need to create an app password, whatever that means. So if we keep digging on this, we need to go and enable two-factor authentication, which means every time we want to log into something related to Apple with our Apple ID, we're going to get a notification on either our iPad or our iPhone that, hey, this person wants to get inside. Do you allow it? So it's just uh, another layer of authentication and security. But we need that to be enabled. Once we have that, we can log into our uh, iCloud account. And we're going to see there's something here in sign in and security, which is app specific passwords. So we need to click on that. And we're going to create a password. So here, Nihilus is just the name. So you click here on the plus sign. It's going to generate a password for you. And you just can assign a name. So I just call it Nihilus. Uh, so it's important that we keep that information. So we need to know our password. And then we can go, <clears throat> we can say, <clears throat> excuse me, select a different provider and then we choose iCloud. We're going to put our email, and we're going to put our password. So it's going to say, uh, no, that's not the password. You need to generate an app password, which supposedly we did. So we got like, OK, what's wrong? OK, it turns out we actually need to create an iCloud mail, which I didn't have a clue, but that's what we need to do. And this is something related to Apple, of course. So I tried to do it on my Mac didn't work. I actually need to do it on my phone. And that way it worked. So you just go uh, into like settings, mail, and then you create an outlet mail. 
iCloud mail, excuse me. So that's what you need to use. <clears throat> so you, just, you need to use your, let's say, black at iCloud.com and your app password. Then you go into the first slide, which is this one here, and it's actually going to connect your iCloud account or your iCloud email to Nylas. So once we're there, we're ready to go. You see that status is running and everything is nice. It's fully connected. So now the thing is, once our account is connected, we can simply use our same client ID, client secret, and the access token that was generated for this particular account. And we can simply use whatever SDK we want. So we're going to use this time the Python SDK, and we're going to read our emails and our calendar events. So keep in mind that it's not going to look any different from doing it from Gmail or Outlook. It's exactly the same code. Uh, because with Nylas, it's pretty transparent for you, whether you're using Gmail or Outlook or Yahoo or iCloud, this code is the same. I mean, it doesn't matter what the provider is. You just connect and you start doing your stuff. So let me remove this. And I'm going to share my screen. So here, we're going to call small script. And here, we're going to read our iCloud account. I don't have many emails. So... It just have the, the one when I create my iCloud account, I got this way called welcome to iCloud mail. So no reply, email at apple.com, name iCloud. That's it. Pretty simple. I'm reading my inbox, but I just don't have almost anything there. Uh, the same happened with events. Uh, I didn't have any events, so I created a couple. Oh, actually one only. So I just name it new event and I created uh, on August 2nd at 11.30 a.m. So you can see that we just can connect easily to our iCloud account. So let's take a look at the source code. Uh, let's go for inbox first. So just the regular one, we're gonna import the Nylas client.emp to read our environment variables. We're going to initialize our Nylas client. So client ID, client secret. And here I just name it iCloud, just because it's a different token than the one that I usually use for Gmail. Uh, so just, just the difference, right? In my M file, I just use different names just to for separate access tokens. So here, once we connected to the Nylas API, we can call the messages endpoint. Then we do a for, and we say for message in messages, just print the subject and who's sending the email. Pretty simple. So if you can see here, it's just going to return who's sending the email and what's the subject. The same is going to happen with iCloud. Uh, here I commented out the date because I wanted to display everything. Doesn't make sense for it's only one. Uh, but here is kind of like the same. We just have, uh, we just connect to iCloud. So using that access token. Here we're going to go into the events endpoint. And here, obviously, we want to grab our iCloud calendar, which we can do by listing all our calendars. And it's going to say, like, this is your iCloud calendar. So we just grab that. We grab all the events. And here we know that there's an, there are events that can be for like, let's say 10.30 to 11.30, but there's also events that can last for the whole day. So here we're gonna say that this there's the start time in the event. Then we just want to display the events go from this time up to this time. Otherwise we know it's like a whole day event. So we're just gonna print the uh, ID, the title, the date, and the participants. And that's it. You see, it's 
is pretty much transparent. Uh, no matter the provider we use, it's always going to be the same. And that's kind of like the power of Nylas. Um... Yeah, that, that was really uh, straightforward. Uh, so the, mm -hmm. the only difference, just to summarize, was just going to create the app password. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Okay. And actually, remember that you actually need to have or create an iCloud mail. Because, I mean, I was using the same email I use to, like, go to the Apple App Store, and it wasn't working. I was like, why is that working? Uh, it turns out you actually need an iCloud email, and then use the app password with that. It's just kind of like an extra step, but in the end, it just connection is seamless. So that's pretty good. So don't forget that we have live streams every Wednesday and Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. So this is a short episode. What do you have for us, Ram, on the next episode? Ooh. So on Friday um, uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 uh, a.m. Pacific, we're going to look at how we could check email using ChatGPT. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so this should be exciting. Yeah. <laughs> this should be exciting how we can actually just use ChatGPT to access all our emails. So stay tuned uh -huh. for that live stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially with our AI hackathon going on, this is great for people to get the inspiration of what they can build uh, using Nylas and AI. So it's a really great episode coming up. So yeah, don't forget to follow us on social. We're everywhere. So all social media, I'm not going to name that all because there are quite a lot. <laughs> uh, also, don't forget to go to developer.nylas.com uh, where all our documentation lives. Uh, our documentation team is are doing the best effort to bring you the best documentation ever. So remember that you can leave a comment. If there's something that you see that is wrong or something you don't like, just leave a comment. We love your feedback. Our documentation team loves your feedback. So we're always looking to improve our documentation. And also, don't forget to go to our blog, nylas.com blog, and read all the blogs that we write for you. So short episode. The only thing I might want to make you guys remember is to go to nylas.deboss.com. There's a still time to join the hackathon, start hacking. Uh, we have a Discord server. If you join, you're going to get the link so you can join the Discord server. Um, remember that deadline is October 2nd, so you still have some time. You can still hack along. And like and subscribe because coding with Nylas live stream uh, episodes are going to help you to build your hackathon winning project. So <laughs> we do a lot of things. Uh, we are more than happy to help you. Just shoot an email to Ram or myself or just follow us on social, leave us a message, go into the discussion forums on the hackathon site. And we're more than happy to help you out with anything that you need. So with that, I think it's time to wrap up. Uh, thanks, Ram. And I think see you on Friday. Awesome. Yep. All right. See you on Bye Friday. Everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone.